previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. through that 
cluster of walkers. They're so pretty. We'll make a cow catcher. Just what we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? Don't worry. We're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know. I know. Just... I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out. But maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. 
and you assume I won't be capable of just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. Right? Damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Ken, and he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I hate to say it, but Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh... Is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. But it's the one that's got to be made. We're already up the creek enough without a walker to worry about. Just let me talk to him first. It's all right, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. You hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? <laughs> Being angry won't help anything. No, because it's sure as hell helping me. Everyone's scared. We don't know what to do. Enough, Clementine. I've had enough of this bullshit. Now, for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's right. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, honey. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem.
Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. I could have what? Never mind. There are things I don't like remembering, too. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Emma's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Nothing we can use, right? Hmm. I guess they would be useful, in a way. To him, at least. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, 
Has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. your friend. You should do this. Goodbye. Anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. sound too good. The clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. We can't stay here. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. No! You're paying attention. Ow, what the fuck? What can I do, Sarah? Let's go. Okay, just 
Walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the Come dead? On. People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers Damn over it. here. Stop. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. Grab out of it. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. somehow. Walkers. What do you want Just me like do? moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Carver messed me up pretty good back there. 
I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. I hate that I've lost so many people, but it's made me stronger. I've learned to take care of myself. Things aren't like they were before. Everything is hard now. You say that like it's so easy. Not everyone can be like you. But you can be too, Sarah. I wish that were true. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. Clem. There's no time! Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two... Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go! Go! Keep pushing! Go! We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem! Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. I can't! I can't! I can't! Out of it, Sarah. Please. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up!
gotta go. Sarah. Come on. to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. You really weren't helping things back there. I thought I could count on you. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah isn't dangerous. She's gonna be okay. Fine. Just be careful. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait. Wait, where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He 
He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. We need your help, with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like? to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Gotcha. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know...
Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Did you find anything out here? Huh? Oh, uh, not yet. I hadn't really started looking until you showed up. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. A skate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Find anything? No, not even trash. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. I guess it's broken. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Can we fight him? Could be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Hey. I just want to talk to you.
What are you doing here? Nothing. I am out of hope. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <sighs> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh... I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried! Hey! Ibatiti. We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means? I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will fish. You hadn't done this. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP. Observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. 
Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <sighs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby, back at Carver's, in the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Jane seems like she doesn't care about anyone, but I trust her. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. But I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also, really loud. Good point. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. 
That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <sighs> I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Over here! walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on. 
Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Gotta do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh God, there's so many. Mike, the water. On it. as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! G Jesus, Clem, it's just not... Um... What's going on? Well, uh... I mean... In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. The walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Shit. Oh. oh, God. Oh, there God. you go. Just oh. rat it out. I have pills. I think they'll help with the pain. What are they? It looks like Oxy. I want them. Wait, wait. Is that okay for a pregnant lady? Give me the fucking pills. Okay. They're coming up the stairs! Here. Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs! Shoot them before they get to us! I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come! Here. We can't let them up here. Come on! Jane! Save Sarah! Are you 
crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up. It's suicide. Just pull me up. We can't leave her without even trying. Just go! Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold them? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? About two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets her beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Oh, shit. What are you 
What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not gonna stick around and watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'm not like them. No. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. And when push comes to shove... I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish. God damn it, Kate. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you. Okay, everything is shit. So forgive me for one day enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Jenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <coughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day.
Sorry. Okay, Bex? It's gonna be all right. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Kenny's right. We have to keep going. Yeah, I guess. But we were still right to wait as long as we did. Remember, you agreed with me on that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here. There's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Minas Lishna! Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please! And we should help him. We kind of owe him one. <sighs> All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. I'm sorry about before. Yes. I need, uh, uh, thanks for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что вы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у их не было. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? All I took were the pills. Jane took your other stuff, not us. You don't have to get even with us. Jane, where's the other woman? I do not see a woman who was with you. She's close by. Don't worry. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. We have a baby! You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок! Из 
Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, опусти оружие сейчас! И слишком много! Бурико, отойди! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking... Don't move! I said don't move! Ты хочешь умереть? Сми меня! Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужчина? Бурико, Бурико, остановись! Опусти оружие! Ведь незачем это не стреляйте! Я не хочу Thank <laughs> you.